So 3D widget interaction is a big thing in VR in general. And if you played around with the default template that comes with Unreal Engine, you'll notice that you can only interact with objects, uh, some menus, sorry, if you're using the, this menu here. So I've got gaze interaction on, but you can see that once I press it, we can actually use our controllers to point and interact. The issue is if we've got a object in the scene, let's say a 3D widget, we can't really interact with those without pressing that button and spawning the laser. So what I've done is I've switched it around. I've added, so I've kept the menu one so you can switch in and use the controllers. And then also done it so when you get close to a widget or a UMG, you can actually set it to control the actual pointer. So you can enable and disable them. So when we go through, we use the controllers as we normally would. Uh, fix that one I need to do. But you can see that we can actually use these and grey different things out and change all our settings. So my point is not appearing for some reason. So, trying to get debugged. But yeah, so that's the overall. So, what we can do is these are set up inside of our VR character. So, in our event graph for our character, we've got spawn line pointer right hand and then left hand. And inside of our data character variables, we also have some options under UI UX. So enable UMG interaction is the main one for this. What it'll do is if it's true, when you get to a certain distance and your widget interaction actually detects a in-face or a 3D widget, it'll enable it for you. So it's done on the distance that your widget interaction is set to. So in here, we've got widget interaction left, which is our player and interaction right. And in this case, when we get to 500 units from our UI and our widget actually tracks it, then we will set those to true. So you can see here is over hit test visible widget. We set to true and then we go through and we begin updating our pointers and line trace and everything. So that's really it for 3D widget interaction. What we do is we then call our inputs so if I remember where, so we have a is user pointing at UMG function. And in here, we get over is, te is over hit test visible widget. And if it's true, we then allow the mapping context to go in there and add that in. One thing I did have to do was remove the thumbstick control for the cursor in the, me in the hand menu that came with the original template as it was stopping the player from moving when you were too close to a UI. So as soon as you pointed at it, it would disable all movement and it felt very unnatural. So the idea here is that I've set this up so you can do you can move and interact with the UI at the same time. And then once the is over hit test visible widget is not hit anymore, we remove that enhanced input and then we spawn everything else. So that's pretty much it for this. It's actually quite simple. It looks a lot more complex than it is. But if you want to disable this, you can literally go to enable UMG interaction and that'll disable the interaction for the hands, which I could probably do with naming that something a little bit better. So yeah, super quick one. It'll work with any UMG in the scene. So if you duplicate it, and then let's say we go up to it. As soon as one of our hands overlaps it, or did I turn it off? I turned it off, didn't I? So yeah, so because I disabled it, we're not using it. Oh, here's interaction. Do, do, do. Okay, I'll fix that. But um, yeah, so yeah, ignore that bug. <laughs> I'll fix that one. So um, yeah, so we enable UMG interaction now and we go up. We point at it. You'll see that we now actually get our interactions and they're all working based on the controller in hand. So as soon as one disappears, it won't appear. So it's just kind of a usability thing that I was trying to go for to make it a lot nicer to use and then easier to understand as well. So hopefully that helps. If you do want to change any of the settings for the pointers or the interactions, you can find them inside of the blueprint for the player character. So widget interaction right, that's just going to be as it is. So cursor right, if you want to change the color, you would do that through this material here. Same as cursor left. And for the particle, 
which is a Niagara system used for the, the beam. What you would do is you could go to VFX and then menu laser. And you can make the changes to the color here if you wish. So you can go all the way down and then modify this here if you wanted something to match branding or match your game a little bit better. So it's pretty much the two elements you need to change. So enough rambling for that. That's how you use the widget interaction. It's built in, it's enabled by default. But yeah, if you want to download this and you want to play around with it, build something for your own project, then you can head over to Patreon. It's available for a fiver right now, but that might change soon because I kind of need to, I want to add a lot more to this. And right now it's not being enough, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So yeah, if you want to support this right now and you want to get access to it for a fiver, then make sure to head over to Patreon. You'll be able to download that for Unreal Engine 5.1. And just a big thank you to everyone over at the Patreon already who is helping me make this possible. Every, everything helps and it's allowed me to put way more hours in and way more time, which has been very fun and very helpful. So yeah, until the next update, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.